When Sammy Hagar took over the lead singer job in Van Halen, the group's former vocalist, David Lee Roth, told Circus Magazine that while his replacement would have to sing Jump every night, he would, quote, never sing a Sammy Hagar song. But did you know that over a decade earlier, Roth and Van Halen had already covered one of the Red Rockers' earliest songs? We'll tell you which one, and more little-known facts about Sammy Hagar, in this episode of You Think You Know Classic Rock? But first, did you know that Chickenfoot wasn't Sammy Hagar's first supergroup? Back before he even joined Van Halen, Sammy teamed up with Journey guitarist Neil Sean to form HSAS. The group released one album of new material, 1984's Live Through the Fire. Although both Journey and Hagar were filling arenas and releasing platinum albums at the time, the record they made together only sold about 150,000 copies. As Hagar recently told us, we did everything wrong and against the grain for the times, and I think it really hurt the success of the album. Maybe so, but man, some of those songs are awesome. Yeah! Besides, it was a rare financial miscalculation for Hagar. By now, we're sure you're aware that Sammy's become wildly rich even by rock star standards thanks to the success of his Cabo Wabo tequila. But that was hardly the first time he proved himself to be a wise businessman. As he told Inc.com, when he first started making good money in the early 70s, he immediately invested in apartment buildings. And then a few years later, he even started his own travel agency. Quote, so I did not have to pay someone else fees to book our travel. All right, let's talk sports. Most people are aware that Sammy was once a boxer. But did you know that he also once beat Hollywood muscle man Sly Stallone in an arm wrestling contest? Don't believe us? Look, we've got the proof right here. Hey, remember Rick Springfield's 1981 top 10 hit, I've Done Everything For You? I've done everything for you. You've done nothing for me. Do you want to meet the guy who wrote it several years earlier? As Hagar recently joked, Rick had me beat when he said the reason the song was a hit for him was because he was better looking than me. So now that you know which Hagar song Rick Springfield borrowed, you want to know which one David Lee Roth sang, right? Well, back in Van Halen's early club days, they'd play a lot of covers. They played ZZ Top songs. They played Led Zeppelin songs. And they played a Montrose song. Specifically, they covered Make It Last. A poignant song about living each day like it's your last, written by the group's young singer. That's right. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more episodes of You Think You Know Classic Rock? Meanwhile, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out more of the best in classic rock coverage on ultimateclassicrock.com. Yeah.